in here and Wonderful, thank you. And let me just pull up my quick. All right, well, first and foremost, good evening to everybody or good afternoon for those of you on the fifth and sixth Pacific side. It's a pleasure to be back in front of you again. Uh, for those of you who might remember a couple of weeks ago, I presented some of our overseas properties in Italy and Belize, as well as Orlando. And today I'm going to bring it back home to eight different hotels under the legacy brand throughout the United States. Uh, once again, my name is Fernando Harp. Uh, my company is Spotlight Hospitality Group. We are a sales and marketing representation firm that represents various hotels in the sales arena. As you can see here, these are our four primaries. Legacy is what I'll be presenting to you today. The Et Hotel, Turtle Island and Biblos, we've already done. But in all cases, if you need a refresher, if you need more information, please reach out to me and my contact information will be at the end. Or you can visit our, our website at spotlighthospitalitygroup.com and you'll find information on these and several of other products that we represent. So in an effort to keep on time, let's get started. So first of all, what is Legacy Vacation Resorts? For those of you that may have come across them in the past, you may remember they operate under the name of Legacy Vacation Club. It was a timeshare operation, uh, eight properties throughout the US, that over the last few years, the owner has managed to reacquire the units shed the vacation club uh, operation and now operate as a full-blown resort. The vision and the mission are simple. They provide incredible accommodations, family-oriented, uh, one, two, and three bedroom suites, but it's important to remember this, they are self-catered units, meaning full kitchens, we supply everything you might need in the kitchen, but you will not find in most of them, neither room service, nor any of the typical amenities. This is really more of uh, vacation homes for families that are looking for a place to stay together, to have plenty of room without necessarily incurring the cost of two or three or four bedrooms. They can all be included in one. They're also outstanding in the family market business, excuse me, in the family reunion business because we can separate out so that you control, if you will, two, three, or four, however many buildings that you need to make it your own little enclave for these reunions. You're not separated where someone's on this floor, someone's over there. We can keep you all together in one place. These are committed, uh, as you can see here, and I'm not gonna read through the slides because you have this later, but really it's about creating an experience, a vacation experience for families who wanna travel together and all be together. Now, those of you that don't get along with family members, this is not for you because you will be all sharing a one or two or three bedroom unit. But in general, that's what our mission is. Some of the details, and this is a broad overview of all of them. Each one is slightly different as we move through them and I'll get to where they are. But in essence, all of our suites and, and apartments have full kitchens, full washer dryer, uh, the two bedrooms will have two full bathrooms each. All of them have either whirlpool and tubs, or we're now replacing several with showers, as that seems to be a more popular request. You, combinations of a, for example, a king bed and the master, two doubles in the guest room. There is There are sleeper sofas in the den and living area. So the combination is up to you. If you have, uh, let's say, a couple with a couple of kids, well, a one bedroom would do because you have the bedroom and the, sl the sleeper sofa in the living room. If you wanted to add a little bit more space, you can attack, you can get a two bedroom that still has the same sleeper sofa and so on and so on. Up to three bedrooms, three full bedrooms, which some of our properties now have. And again, I'll cover that as we, as we go through them. These images are just to give you an idea of the way they're set up. They're meant to be more home feel than they are a, a hotel feel with full living room couches, chairs, dining areas in many cases. And the kitchens that I mentioned are completely equipped with everything you could possibly need, including coffee and things like that. We also have a lot of amenities. And again, this will depend now on which resort we're talking about and we'll cover those as we go through, but every one of them has the basic. They all have gyms, they all, of course, have swimming pools. In some cases, with our New Jersey product, 
It's a year round covered swimming pool. There's a lot of outdoor area activities for the family to do. And it could be, and I believe that's in my next slide. Yes, see here, could be playgrounds, there's mini golf. Several of our hotels have tennis courts. So there's always something to do. But I wanna reiterate again, with the exception of one of the properties, which we'll cover, uh, there are no restaurants on site. So it's meant to be go out to have dinner or, and I hate to do this to the great moms that take care of the families, they can also prepare and cook in the kitchen. But what's the point of vacation if they got to cook? So it's easy to have access to one of the many restaurants that are in the area. Uh, we do have two ski resorts, which you can see on the bottom here. However, as popular as they are, ski resorts are also very, very popular in the summertime because of the mountains, the lakes, hiking, biking. I mean, there's just a million activities to do. And we'll cover that as we move through the presentation. One important thing to note, which is the commitment Legacy has made and why we took back the, the vacation club to turn it in is our owner is 100% committed to sustainability. We are an official uh, B Corporation. Uh, for those of you that may or, or may not be aware what the B Corp is, is basically we are committed to the environment. We are committed to the planet. We offset our carbon footprint through a myriad of different activities. For one thing, every single one of our resorts is solar powered. So we don't consume the same electrical usage that you would get with some regular hotels. We have, we, we got away from plastic. We do not use anything plastic. Uh, even our room keys are really cool because they look just like a plastic key card, but they're actually made out of wood. And we love to recycle them, but everyone loves to keep our keys because they are so unique and cool looking. So the B Corp is what sets us apart and it's our way of showing that we care too, offsetting that carbon footprint and really taking care of the environment. And, and not only that, for our guests that are around it to be part of this great effort. So where are we located? Okay, well, here's where you're gonna see our different lists. I know it's a little small, but I'm gonna go through them individually. Primarily, we are a Florida operation with four resorts in Florida, two of them in the Orlando area. And then we have one on each coast of Florida, east coast or west coast, and I'll cover that in a minute. We have the two ski resorts, and, and I, I, I'm remiss, I constantly call them ski resorts, but I wanna mention that they're awesome for summer travel also. But they are mountain resorts, it's a better word, uh, both located in, in Steamboat Spring. We have uh, our unit, uh, or excuse me, our resort in Reno, Nevada. That's more uh, towards the adventurous, the gambler, the people who love to go to the big, big, what is it, the big little city? I always get that one too, I'm sorry. But anyway, and then of course we have one in New Jersey, which is only a couple minutes outside of Atlantic City, right on the beach, beautiful location. And we're going to cover more detail as we move through. Okay. So let's start with our, our main property, which is the Kissimmee property. That is our flagship corporate headquarters. It's also our largest in which we have over 560 apartments in the complex. So it is a very large complex. As I said, if you were doing something like a family reunion, you just let us know, hey, I want to keep us all together and we will designate two or three buildings, as long as it accommodates request to keep everybody and have your own, think of it as your own street block, if you will, because all that we would make sure that they're all sequestered in the same area, keep everybody together. That way they can enjoy not just the apartments together, but even the amenities, which are sp spread out and repeated throughout the ground. So if you wanted to use the picnic area or you wanted to use the mini golf, you almost have your own if you will, making it a little bit more private, a little bit more fun for all the family to come together. The good thing about Kissimmee and our second property in the Orlando area, Lake Buena Vista, is that they are minutes from all the parks. So if you have passengers or families that are coming into Orlando area and they got lots of kids and they want to go to the parks, you're in the perfect location because it's only minutes away. In addition to, of course, Disney and Universal, there's many, many other resorts uh, excuse me, uh, attractions that you can attend. House of Blues is a favorite, Splitsville, and they just keep going on and on. I'm not going to go through the list, but suffice to say, as you know, with Orlando, 
you never have to do the same thing twice because there's so much to do. This is a, just a quick aerial shot of what our uh, flagship one, the, the Kissimmee property, as I said, they're all individual, not individual, they're town type houses in their layout. Plenty of free parking everywhere. That's something that in Florida parking can be very pricey. There's no parking charge here. And you'll see that there's a lot of greenery around us. So that's part of those areas that you can avail yourself and sort of you know have a picnic, have a party, go enjoy the volleyball courts or anything that you want as various, various pools throughout. So not all 560 units are sharing the same pool. There's plenty of pools so that it's a little bit more relaxed and casual. Our other two properties in Florida are Palm Coast and Indian Shores. So Palm Coast is on the east side of Florida, very close to St. Augustine, for those of you that may or may not know um, Florida that well. And there's a little box covering my map, but you'll see on the right-hand side where the number two for Palm Coast will show you, it's the northeast region of Florida, again, near St. Augustine. On the west coast, and probably one of our most coveted properties is the Indian Shores near Clearwater. Now that one is a much smaller property. Every All of our properties are over 100 units. The, the Indian Shores one is the only one that's our small boutique at 40 units. It is, uh, I mean, there are more blackout dates than, than, than we care to mention because it is very, as I said, highly coveted. Right on the intercoastal, if we have a lot of guests that come by boat and they want to dock up or want to be near the water, and want to be within a storm's throw of going to Clearwater Beach or any of the beaches that you have on the, on the west coast of Florida. So that one I recommend if you're interested in, reserve it early because it does fill up very, very quickly. Okay, here we go. Next up, Colorado. So here's where we have Steamboat Springs Hilltop and Steamboat Springs Suites. As I mentioned, they are both, uh, if anything, they're very popular as ski resorts, but in the winter time, they become very popular for the, for the outdoor enthusiasts. As I said, we can do hiking, biking. They have all sorts of things. The, the, the mountain itself, and you see in the top picture, the hilltop, the building in the center of the picture, that's our resort with full views of the ski resort itself. So you're minutes away. There's shuttles, complimentary shuttles that'll take you to and from the base mountain. In the winter, in the summertime, we still have the same shuttles, but they'll take you to some of the activities that you have uh, within the area of, spe of Steamboat Springs. There's horseback riding. Uh, there is both uh, ATV and snowmobiling in the winter. There, I mean, just tons of activities. It, it's I can't decide what's better winter or summer, to be honest with you, with all the fun stuff to do. Now, the difference between the two is in the top picture, as I mentioned, Hilltop is exactly that. Sits at the top of the hill, overlooks the ski resort, and about four minutes away by car is Steamboat Springs Suites. Now, that one's in the actual town of Steamboat Springs. Very convenient because it sits next to a mall area where they have supermarkets, uh, different stores, lots of shopping in the area. So it's, it's a very walkable area from, from the suites building to all the shopping. You will need a vehicle unless you've got great legs for walking up and down hilltops from the, to be able to accomplish both, well, both of them for shopping. So I got a little tongue tied there. Okay. Next up, Reno, Nevada. Now this one is a little bit different in that it is still one and two bedroom apartments, but as you can see here, it's more of a building type. It is in downtown Re Reno, very close to uh, the Truckee River, some of the museums. Uh, it's very popular for a lot of the events uh, that people come into Reno for, such as the Great Balloon Race, uh, the Reno River Festival, tons of activities. If you're going to Reno, I highly recommend it because for the same cost of what a hotel room will cost you, you can get a lot extra space, particularly traveling with family in the Reno area. And lastly, we come to Brigantine Beach, New Jersey. As I mentioned early on, this is uh, just a few minutes away from Atlantic City. 
It sits on an incredible beach. So obviously summertime, very, very popular for the Northeast beachgoers, very popular for the Atlantic City visitors who want to be close, but not in the middle of, uh, of the craziness of Atlantic City. Um, yes, it is a tough sell in winter because it's a little disheartening to see snow on the sand. However, it's still a popular hotel, as I said, for the Atlantic City visitors, not necessarily the beach crowd during winter unless you're polar bears. By the way, one important thing, all of our properties are now, because this is new, we're dog friendly. Uh, each property has slightly different uh, requirements and deposits for depending on the dog, how many dogs and the weight of the dog. It's easier if you just ask us by property, you know, hey, we want to bring a dog. We have a guest that has two dogs or a big and small, whatever it is, and we can give you that information there. But it's important to note that we are now accepting dogs. We want to make sure we're not having families keep their pets at home when they could be traveling with them on vacation. And I know I ran through it quickly. As I said, I'm very respectful of time. Is there any questions anybody would like to maybe drill down on something I may have glossed over? Please let me know. Now would be a great time. Thank you for that. Like you said, um, we have one question. Uh, what's the website? So the website is LegacyVacationResorts.com. Pretty simple. You will okay. find all of the resorts there. If you're looking for some of our other properties, then it would be Spotlight Hospitality Group. That'll come up in a second. All right. Thank you. Once again, if you have right. any questions that you um like to ask while we have them on the call, please locate at the bottom of the monitor check box and put all your questions there so we can get them answered for you. Uh, I did want to mention, of course, we are available through GDS, through all the booking sites. We have direct reservations. Uh, one question in case it does come up that I'm asked often is, because we are a self-cater, what happens if a guest arrives late at night? Front desk is only open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I'll address that question quickly. We have, a, we have one central reservations place, which is here in Florida, that operates 24 hours. Should a guest, and I'm actually a perfect example because I was at our uh, Colorado resort uh, during the winter and thanks to a wonderful snowstorm, which is why I was there, wanted to get some skiing, but I was very delayed in getting up to Steamboat. It was about one in the morning and our system is flawless. The guest comes in, there's a phone right there, they pick it up, they establish that it's obviously the correct guest and there's a lock box that will automatically pop open and inside will be the room keys and everything. So it does operate 24 hours. The desk itself from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., but there's always somebody that can be reached 24-7. The other big benefit that we've created is because the resorts are spread out, we don't want the guests having to constantly walk back and forth from their unit all the way back to front desk and then go back if they have a question. We have our own proprietary app in which they can request pretty much anything and everything right from their phone if more towels are needed. Uh, it, and of course you can pick up the phone too, but you can schedule it with the app. If there's a question, we understand that sometimes with, with self-catered, you know, that the apartment is turned over 100% ready and clean. Housekeeping does not kick in until departure where they come in to redo the room. But during the stay, there might be a need for a quick refresh um, might be a need for a full-blown uh, deep cleaning. It is available upon request. You just use the app and say, I'd like to request to have someone come touch up the towels, replace toilet paper, whatever the thing is. That's all complimentary. A deeper clean would be, there would be a charge for it. But what we don't do, contrary to some of the others, is charge you a cleaning fee just because. So you sometimes with these other vacation homes, They'd sell you the room rate, they have that, and then at the end they say, oh, and there's $150 mandatory cleaning fee. We don't do that. That's all part of your room rate. Room rates will average, depending on the location, but now in season, anywhere from about $89 to about $150, bucks, depending on property. They're available on the website to do a quick check. So it's just a matter of where do you want to go? 
we can help you to look up the best rate. We can look to help, you know, whatever you need from there. It's pretty simple having one centralized rest system. Okay, thank you for that. Do you offer travel agent rates? We do, we do. Because of our, uh, depending on, I mean, right now, for example, Florida's hot, as you can imagine, we're right starting the season. All our Northeastern friends are coming down to Florida to get out of the cold. So it is advisable to try to plan it as soon as, as far out as possible. However, if it's a last minute or have to be there, just let us know and we'll do everything possible to accommodate. Okay, thank you. I believe you just answered the next question. Why do you go to register? Is that the same website you just mentioned? Correct. You can go in there. You'll find all the information. It'll have uh, the, the specific each individual information as well as the central res number and the contacts for information, for bookings, uh, questions, anything you need. Okay. Now, how do we book our clients? Do we register the agency and get paid through Orchard? It could be done, exactly. So however you make your reservation, as long as you have, uh, they work obviously with the IATA number, so as long as it's a valid IATA number uh, or CLIA number, we use those two, just all you need to do is register the number Every booking, the agency automatically gets paid its commission. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any more questions? Okay. Let me just go one more um, slide then. So if you need to reach me, and as I mentioned, for this or any one of our properties, it's the same, same email across for all, which is Fernando at SpotlightHospitalityGroup.com. The number that I have on the screen, 954, and whoops, I got a little slash in there by mistake, but 954-864-0714. That's my direct line. So whenever you have a question, you know, I present it to you and you said, hey, I wanted to ask, please, please, please let me know directly. Uh, or you can feel free to reach out to the, to the property through its main reservations number. They'll be more than happy to answer your questions there also. Okay. Then someone asked about putting a website in the chat. And then the next question is, is, is there training on there, on your website? Uh, training, no, that would be me. So if you'd like me, uh, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or uh, I'm always available, I can do a little bit more in depth. Usually what I've seen after I do all eight properties is I'll start to get individual uh, emails or requests for a specific property. Uh, as I mentioned, for example, Kissimmee and Lake Buena Vista are the are constant emails and, and questions. I'd be more than happy to do another one focused just on those or reach out to me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm more than happy to address each question individually. It's pretty straightforward. Our, our system is, is very good, very user-friendly. Um, and we have an excellent reservations team that's always available. If it's not through me to ask a question through them, they'd be more than happy to assist. You have a, a lot of people behind our product to help out and make sure that you get those bookings and maximize your commissions. Okay. Any other questions? Anything last minute? Don't be okay. Shy. Um, just... That website again, was it legacyresort.com? Legacyvacationresorts.com just like the name of the property. Okay, they asked to put it in the website. Okay, Miss Nina, let's have you back. Focus on the Disney. Then we have, um, okay, they was putting the um, website in there. Okay, do we have any more questions from anyone? Okay. Okay, so Mr. Fernandez, we do thank you for um, joining us this evening to discuss your beautiful property here. And on behalf of our One Star Platinum, Ms. Nina Jackson Mitchell, we would like to thank everyone for joining us tonight. And uh, this webinar is officially over. And we hope to have you back real soon so we can talk about the, um, the Disney area properties. Thank you again, and, and please, uh, from on behalf of Spotlight and my team, happy holidays to all of you, and thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again, everyone. Y'all have a good evening.